Scenario. A customer has a signed contract with you to get their roof replaced. They've even given you a deposit and you've put them into your production schedule. Why on earth then would you say something like, hey, you should turn this into your insurance company? What's up Elite Cat Adjuster and Roofer? Let's think this through. You've already got the job signed up and they've already started paying you. And then you say, hey, I think you've got some hail, wind, tree, whatever damage to your roof. You ought to file a claim with your insurance company. Couple things. Number one, what if there isn't any insurable damage? Probably no harm, no foul, right? Other than you've delayed your project and then you had your customer file a claim, which got denied, which probably, I don't know, maybe annoyed them a little bit, would annoy me. And now they have a claim against their policy, which may make their rates go up. And more importantly, and this is the reason why I'm making this video, I had an insured who showed me a contract that they had signed with a roofing contractor to have their roof replaced. No gutters, no window wraps, no nothing else. It was just a 30 year laminate shingle on a 312 roof, straight gable, 20 squares. And what was the total? $21,000. $21,000. I'm no mathematician, but that's more than $1,000 a square. It's one story, easy access from the driveway, nothing else, it was straight up, probably could do it in a half a day. Definitely could do it in a half a day with an experienced crew. $21,000 for a 20 square roof. So why would you introduce a third party to that, especially somebody who might have an ax to grind with roofers in general? Still don't get it? You run the very, very high risk of the adjuster going, holy shit, that's $1,000 a square. That's way too much. Here, let me write you a comparable estimate that's appropriate for your zip code, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So what's this gonna do to your sale? Because I can tell you right now, there are very, very few places in the US where a 30 year shingle on a 312 roof is $1,000 a square. Maybe Miami after a hurricane. So the bottom line is, is that there's no damage. I come out and I deny the roof and I tell the, the insured, or your customer, that they're getting taken to the cleaners. How did this help you? How? And things like this only support the notion held by most field adjusters that roofers aren't honest. Is that true? Personally, I don't think so, but it's kind of hard to defend you when you do stuff like this. You already got the fish in the boat. So there you have it. If you didn't overcharge and you know you've got legit damage on that roof, you have nothing to worry about. The insurance company probably owes it and it'll be helping our customer out for sure. But if you're being dishonest, you know what? Forget I said anything. Keep doing what you're doing, dude or dudette. Hey, look, it's a $6 million man. <laughs> Don't forget to check out Adjuster TV on Facebook at facebook.com slash groups slash Adjuster TV. If you like this video, hit the like button and share it on social media. And if you wanna learn more about how to get to the top of the first call list, hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and have a great storm. This is Adjuster TV. I'm